okay so in this video we are going to do the beard with the same technique we did with the hair so let's first mask the beard area where you want to you know get those hair so let's go to our model here and again i'm going a little one or two division level lower then i'm going to mask it so i'm going to mask and as you can see the on the border area i am trying to blend the mask i'm trying to get a very smooth transition there so that when the no hair is gonna create it's also see this mask density and wherever the mask is very light it's gonna create less hair there so make sure you do that and on this area give a little bit smooth transition because the hair trend to grow from here somewhere and that's very smooth so i'm giving that transition there okay so now i'm going to you know create the hair so let's see again i need some transition here as well so let's okay let's see let's go to this fiber and click on preview and again you can see i'm getting hair here as well because i forget to remove the mask there so let's go back and remove the mask so i'm going to turn off this and i'm going to turn off the hair as well so that yeah i forgot to remove that so make sure you remove that previous mask so i'm going to use my lasso with Control alt I'm going to remove this area and make sure this this is also smooth okay so it's good then let's turn on the hair let's go back to here turn on the hair okay so now let's go to fiber mesh and create the hair click on this preview and now it's gonna use the same setting as the hair so I'm going to change all those settings the so first thing I'm going to change is the length so let's decrease the length to somewhere 40 again you can see maybe 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 30 okay now I don't want this much of no hair so I'm going to decrease this max fiber so now it's set to 50 so I'm going to set maybe 10 something like that maybe a little less than that maybe maybe 5k let's put 7 so I'm trying to get a good balance there I don't want not so many here I want to see the skin as well so now you can see the mask is on the way there so I'm going to temporarily hide the mask and go to masking here and you can turn off this view mask so when you turn off this the mask is still there but it's not gonna show that here so let's go and so that you can see how many actually hair you have and how much skin you can see through the hair okay so now i'm going to actually create the hair i think it's looking good so if i click on the bpr to render it let's see I think it's looking good so I'm going to use this so let's say I'm going to create it so let's go to fiber mesh and I'm going to accept it so let's accept it and click on this yes so now I have got my actually hair model now I need to style this you can see again he has curly curly kind of beard so i'm going to do that so let's first adjust the length because you can see the length is not uniform you can see longer hair here and shorter here so let's do that first let's let's go to the groom length brush and let's not try to get the same length there so i'm going to move this 
hairs a little bit to lengthen those again we can use a symmetry here i'm trying to get the same length same length here then i'm going to uh, use some brushes to again make those hair look curly so again let's use the twister brush Again, you can use the turbulence as well to you know give them now you can see every hair is looking very you no know, welcome everywhere goes in the same direction so let's use this turbulence okay just give it a messy look then i'm going to use the twister so let's go to twister and on this area most of the time you can see the hair tend to like twist so i'm going to do that something like this maybe probably you can see something like this as well so little twisted hair and I'm going to create some clumps as well. So let's go to groom brush and go to clump. You can see now it's trying to clump those. The beard tend to less clumps than the actually hair. So because you have less hair here, still he has some longer hair. So I want to clump those. And on this area, I want the hair goes this this way. So I'm going to again use this. Let's use this groom hair sort, and let's adjust them. And again here, I want to smooth this area to you know uh, get a gradient look, something like. Okay, make sure you render in between to check the progress. Uh, looking good, but the uh, mustache you can see less density than the no, beard actually. So we can do one thing. We can create another layer of hair here. So let's do that. So let's go to this head and I'm going to again turn on the mask viewing. Actually, let's go to masking and turn on. something like this and let's create another group of hair let's go to fiber mesh and click preview again now on this area this this quantity is too much so i'm going to decrease it to maybe four or maybe i think four is too much so let's press three i think this is good so i'm going to so let's go to you no know, accept here and accept this again we can clump this so let's go to this grooming brush and clump and clump clump some of the hair here and again you can go to this light box and use these brushes as well let's use this groom clump brush so you can see they're you not know, getting clumpy clumpy effect there and here again you can do the same thing so let's go to this here you can see this silhouette it's getting bigger here so let's go to this normal move brush here and we can again move it and adjust the silhouette now it's looking good let's render once So in the next video, we are going to see how to do the eyebrow and eyelashes. So see you there.